This video is sponsored by PotonStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCG code cards. They are compatible with TCG Live and you can of course get everything on the website for 5% off using the coupon code ZABDOISTCG. This video is also sponsored by CardMarket.com. This is a European platform where you're able to uh, buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. I personally use it every single day and you can do it as well. And you can use the referral name ZABDOISTCG to help support the channel. This video is also sponsored by YourPlayMat.com. Uh, this is a platform where you're able to of course create your own custom playmat they have of course uh, capabilities to ship worldwide and you can get 10% off by clicking the link down below so definitely check it out last but not least is dragon shield the best brand to protect your beautiful cards you can of course uh, yeah there's links down below for US and European people and you can of course get your best quality uh, sleeves uh, available as well as deck boxes and binders thanks so much for sticking around with the commercials I hope you enjoyed today's upload if you do be sure to let me know by rocking the I'll add the like button and uh, yeah, let's get this video going. What's up, YouTube? It's Zapdos TCG here, and welcome back to our TCG battle video on my channel. On this channel, you get daily Pokemon TCG uploads, so be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. And if you like what you see, feel free to smash the hell out of the like button, helps out in many ways. So, today's Shadow Radical Rex VMAX up on the menu, and uh, as you can see, this card is very old from Shilling Rain, uh, but it still has some uh, decent things that can do. We can uh, accelerate psychic energies from our hand to our psychic bench Pokemon, so uh, stuff like Klefki. Uh, and combination is going to be a super crazy combo because you wall with Klefki and set up a ton of energies on your bench to then attack with max guys and slap for a, a ridiculous amount of damage. You can also set up Hatterene so you can go for the hit and run strategy and promote Klefki in the active position when you attack. So against Lost Box that's going to help out ridiculously. We have Shadow Mist to make sure that uh, yeah you can win against Mew v Max. You can you know, shut them off from special energies. You can use Fan of Waves, use Shadow Mist, and you win the game, which is super cheesy. Uh, what else you can do is uh, against something like Lugia. If they're not playing Pumpkaboo, you can use Shadow Mist while Path is in play, so they never are able to play the game. They cannot play special energies and they cannot overlap the path because they cannot play stadiums. Uh, Mawile can also trap opponents, definitely uh, in combination with Pop Helmet, you can trap stuff like, uh, let's say, Conface, uh, stuff like, for instance, uh, Mew from Celebrations, etc. The list goes on. We have Path to the Peak as well as Judge, that can be a very disruptive element on top of having Klefki, and uh, we do have access to a couple of supports like Research and even Arvin because that can actually get ourselves for a Seal Stone or even the Choice Bell when we need that additional power. So uh, let's try out this list. See how uh, Shadow Rider plays in today's meta game. As I mentioned, having a favorable matchup against Lost Box, Lugia, and Mew does seem like a deck that definitely is worth testing out. So uh, let's see how we go. And the, the cool thing is with the Mawel, we can also have like a cheesy way out against Gardevoir. But the problem is, you can definitely get gusted up. So it's uh, going to be more focused against uh, decks that you know that they are out of boss source as a cheeky way to win the game. Okay. Let's see, cool looking Charizard coin. And uh, we will be going first. We're uh, kind of an evolution deck to be honest. So uh, we definitely need that evolution to be happening on the second turn. Uh, we start with Klefki path, so that's actually not bad. Starting with Klefki is always a, a great feeling. Against any matchup you're up against, you can shut them down from playing the game. That's sort of, sort of like a, a Maridon list, sure. So, uh, Against Maridon, probably not gonna slap down Path, although I could, I probably won't. I'll slap down Shadow Rider. I'll use Ultra Ball, get rid of Path, get rid of Ultra Ball, slap down another Shadow Rider. We need to like get as many energies in play as we possibly can. Klefkis are super cute to of course make sure we can get some stuff done here. Let's get the Choice Belt on there as well. And then next turn, we evolve Judge and see how we go from there. Klefki's in play, so Maridon won't be doing anything unless they randomly have Escape Rope in hand. Or Arvin to find Escape Rope, or Forest Seal Stone to find uh, Escape Rope. So uh, there's still some outs here. They can still boss and then use Maridon. But only six cards in deck. Actually, six cards in hand. Now with Nesbolt being dubbed down, only five cards in hand. Klefki shuts down. They could still get the KO if they have like a electric generator on top of. Oh, Lost Vacuum. My choice, Bell. Who the hell plays Lost Vacuum and Maridon? What is this? Yo, that's all they did. That's hilarious. Only one card in their hand. 
Collapse Stadium could be nice to lower their bench pace. At this point, they only have one card in hand, but I have to judge, unfortunately, because we need setup as well. We definitely need setup as well. Let's go for the Underworld Door. Drawing two cards. There's a Pot Helmet. Another Klefki, just in case they have Escape Rope. Could be nice. Yeah. Attachment of the turn is definitely interesting. Or we can wait to draw more cards. Yeah, this is a scary situation. I want to have as many uh, stuff of uh, Pokemon in play as we can, but it's going to have to be just a pass. Because we need the Underworld Door to draw us more into the game. Klefki Judge, they had the one card in hand. Now they have Regilaki VMAX, they could just attach to Raikou Raikou and do some crazy business. EXP share on top of it. Mm, and a Judge, okay, they are judging ourselves. So we definitely should have attached there, but yeah, I was afraid. <laughs> Energies to share. What in the world? Yo. That is some random TCGO stuff for ya. We're still not gonna be able to get a huge KO in, but we're up trading later down the line. What in the world was that? Have you seen anything like it? Okay, my turn. It is a boss's orders though. Underworld door. Here. Research, okay. Touch of the turn. Here. We do have Clara. We have Palpat, so research, let's go. Full crystal. Inspecting the board. We have Ultra Ball as well. Let's get this one. Mawal trapping is probably not going to be of the essence in here. Pot helmet, let's remove that. Switch could be nice to prevent chaos. Okay, Shadow Rider. Let's go. We still don't have quite the necessary energies quite yet, but as you can see, hide behind a Klefki and you chillax. Two energies we can find with Clara, which is super nice. So, whatever he wants to do, he can do it to my Klefki. Unless he has a full bench and a boss. Which you can do if he has the boss in hand. Attachment to Maridon. Electricity generator. Is that a whiff? That is a whiff. That's great. And there's a boss. They're gonna take down the big Shadow Rider Calyrax VMAX. Or at least they're trying to do so. And they're setting up a bunch of Regileckis. Okay. Uh, I think we still have one more path remaining. I will collapse this one on the bench later, I think. We have the switch in hand, so that's nice. Okay, there's an escape rope, which means we can take down a couple of these. They're probably gonna give us the Regilecki VMAX if we do that. Clara. A cla <laughs> the tra tempting trap seems super hilarious to utilize at one point. Let's take these. Underworld door. We're going to the underworld. The we have the beach court, we have the Palpat. Palpat can give herself judges and bosses. I think I like some extra bosses here. Although if this guy gets knocked out, maybe the Clara is better. I think for now, we still have Luminion as well. So I would just go for Underworld Door again. There we go. Another Shadow Rider enters the house. We can use Fog Crystal, get an attachment of the turn. Let's see here. Is our Collapsed in here? Yeah, Collapsed is in the deck, even for a Seal Stone, so that's super good. We can undo all that situation. We can Palpat the Clara as well at that point. So, yeah, it is time to switch around. I don't think they can find like all the Regilecki VMAXs. Okay, let's just attach on this guy. And it's time for you to feel the pain of the Max Geist. Bam! Raikou sees the discard pile, so that means they would need to hit another electricity. Now they have EXP share. What am I saying? Maridon's gonna hold full swing. 
Arvin and energy. Okay, let's see here. 220. They have three Regi like V Maxes. They still don't KO us, which is the hilarious part about having 320 HP. I will collapse this Shadow Rider at one point in the game, so uh, it is still going to be undoing three prize cards, even though it's like super fragile right now. It could still boss it up, I suppose. If he's all out of boss, okay, there's the judge. Maybe I should have palp at it already. Clara is actually nice, but we'll see. There's a judge, there's a nest ball and fog crystal. Electricity generator in the house. Yeah, that's a super cool thing. We can go for 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Because we can KO all of these fellas nice and easily. At one point, we might even be able to slap 300 and... Yeah, they just can see. There we go. So, the main strategy was hide behind a clef key while you set up the Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX. Whew, we got away with that. So, uh... You typically want to be facing other decks, right? You want to see the Lost Boxes, the Muse. Those matches are very cool because you have a game plan against all of them. In the sense that you can hit and run with Hatterene. Or you can, of course, utilize the Fan of Waves with the attack Shadow Mist. Okay, let's see. Can we get another great game with the Shadow Rider? Let's go first again. Can we start with Klefki? I love starting with Klefki. Opponent just literally cannot play the game. Such a strong card, to be honest. But you need two of them. Okay, there's a Klefki. Thank you. Let's go. Come on, give us a lost box. We have the Hatterene over here already. Okay, DTE. Oh, it looks like uh, Alex Shemansky's uh, first place winning EOIC list, right? Arceus Box. Can we have enough time against Arceus Box? They have Drapions though. Okay, let's go for Fog Crystal. Shadow Rider. Let's see, we have 11 energies in deck. Triple of these. Okay, it's Choice Belt as well. Path to the Peak could be nice if we can stuck that down. Shadow Mist in this situation could also help uh, to prevent them from attaching DTE. Which is always cool to see. Attachment here. Fog Crystal. Shadow Rider again. I will still uh, stick that Klefki in the active. Just for the purpose of them not being able to play cards like Luminion and stuff. And we also are only able to accelerate energies to the bench. So it does make sense. If they don't have DTE in hand to attach. We can buy ourselves an additional turn. Because we can go for Shadow Mists. Okay, there's a Vulpix. Vulpix cannot get attacked by Pokemon with uh, abilities. So that means Hatterene is our only attacker in that sense. Okay, we got judged. We do have an energy, which is great. I don't know if they have an energy themselves. Vulpix is kind of an annoying Pokemon. I don't know how we're going to be... We can attack with Hatterene and Choice Belt, I guess. Ha hit and run. Can use the Shadow Astral Barrage. There's an Ultra Ball. What are they gonna do? Get the Arcus V Star? Really? Do they have an attachment even? Yo, that's fantastic. That's literally the best thing I've seen so far. Let's get another Shadow Rider. At one point, we will be able to do a lot of stuff. So I'll just go for this. I'll switch around to this Shadow Rider. I'll attach here. And I will Shadow Mist. So that means they cannot play down Stadium cards. Well, the fun fact is we have three V Pokemon in play. So either they go for Arceus V-Star and use their V-Star already. So they cannot use Silvery Snow Power of the uh, little Vulpix over there. And there's a Research coming. Okay, the Judge. <laughs> that was the card they still had. So cool thing is they cannot attach Special Energy. So we do have a little bit of time on our hands. If I were them, I would just set up Vulpix. Yeah, Vulpix is probably the ideal candidate. They probably have a choice belt as well. All these supporters in their discard pile. Imagine being Judge Path at that point. Okay, at this point, there are a lot of Pokemon slapped down. Um, I'll go for another Shadow Rider. Yeah, for sure. Because I don't have a switch out. I'll just go for another Shadow Mist. They're just gonna attach energies here, right? Choice belt. They can still go for the V-Star. 
which they are not doing. Uh, attachment here, and now I will judge the opponent. Let's go. Where are the energies, folks? Where are the energies? Uh, Shadow Rider, Calyrex, VMAX. Fog Crystal. More energies. Two, what? Like we're 70, 70, 70. They already KO us with the Vulpix, right? So we might as well try to get our entire setup going. Underworld Door. Mm -hmm. Choice Belt as well. That's super great. Um... We could choice belt on this one, or we could choice belt on the other one as well. Let's wait and just go for Shadow Mist. Blocking them from actually attaching special energies. And uh, again, Shadow Mist and Klefki is a dangerous combo. They could manually attach, but they can never get a DTE onto Vulpix, which is more crucial. We, can need, we need to knock out that Vulpix before it evolves. They're not able to play down stadiums and they're not able to play down special energies. Star Birth, okay, so we don't have to be afraid of Silvery Snow or Power from the Vulpix anymore. Super cool. Uh, the, the fun fact is that they are not able to attach the DTEs. We've already played four Fog Crystals, that's crazy. So one, two, three, four, that's 130, 160, 190. If we have some sort of a switch out, we already used like switch, Scape Rope would be Interesting to use as well. And we still have access to path and judge to slow the opponent down. Like, Duraldon is not going to be doing anything, let us be honest. Okay, there's a boss coming on another Shadow Rider, presumably. <laughs> ah, hilarious. Yeah, that is kind of hilarious. My turn. Thank you. There's an Ultra Ball. I'm gonna have to go for sh Underworld Door. There's Forest Seal Stone and Beach Guard. So, in that sense, we could Ultra Ball. Get rid of this, get rid of this. We have the Forest Seal Stone, right? To get whatever we want. Shadow Rider. Definitely need the energy here, right? Maybe Luminion, I suppose. But we can also use something with four seal stone there, right? I'll take Shadow Rider. Did I already use a supporter this turn? I doubt it. Uh, I'll use four seal stone. Should I ride over here? Now it's time for four seal stone. Star alchemy. I don't know if I have already used the supporter or not. Scary. I'll take the research and see how we go from there. Okay, we haven't used the supporter quite yet. That's awesome. So this one and research. Let's go. We could draw more or we can Shadow Mist one more turn because we definitely need to KO Vulpix. Vulpix is the biggest threat because all of our Pokemon have abilities. So just for that purpose, I'm going to use... Ultra Ball, get rid of this one, get rid of this one, get another Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX. How many energies do we have left? We have Arvin, six energies left. And we have Luminion for boss as well, so might as well evolve this one. Attachment here, leave space open for Luminion and just go for Shadow Mist, let's go. Okay, next turn we are gonna have to Luminion boss because we still have time to knock out like the Vulpix but we have already used all of our uh, little fog crystals so finding energies will be a little bit harsh Colorless experiment at least they need like one turn now they can do, do nothing and the following turn they can attack but they cannot knock us out because the active one has the choice bell so we have all the time in the world So 
soon as they're able to attack with Vulpix, it's very scary though. So our main strategy is knocking out Vulpix, and by the time that happens, we just win the game. Like, see how the lock goes with Shadow Mist? It's fantastic, I know. Manual attachments, okay. Heavy Ball. One energy, there's a fan of ways, okay. And the palpat as well. Nazbo. I'll take nothing because we need to leave that space open for our good friend Luminion. Okay, now we have access, we have the rope here as well. I'm not gonna use Nazbo, I'm just gonna shuffle and stuff. Underworld door. Here. <laughs> All right, we do have access to. Uh, there's also a path we could slap down. I don't know if it's necessary or not. They have already utilized their V star power, so. Yeah, no, it's just gonna be Shadow Mist, and then next turn we go for the boss's orders. Because if they don't have a switch out, like even if they attach to Arceus, it's not gonna be making any difference. At this moment, one, two, okay, we get judged again, man. Can we please find boss's orders? Yeah, boss's orders, perfect. Attach, retreat, KO this one. The biggest strat of all, full picks. Because if it uses the attack, we are not able to respond. We can attack with like Hatterene, but that's stupid. Okay, 190 HP. Let's see here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 energies. Mm hmm. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 energies. Six energies. I think that's just enough, right? Let's boss up this one. Oh yeah, we have the choice belt. It's definitely enough. What am I saying? We could have drawn more cards here, but let's just retreat and start swinging with this fella. We can Luminion on top of it and research and set ourselves up for some more power later. Sounds like a plan, right? Let's go, Max Geist. Bam! You are knocked out, Vulpix. You're not gonna be standing in our path any longer. Porn is now able to use DTE and whatever they please. So we're gonna have four Shadow and Keller XB Max set up this turn. Uh, actually, next turn. It's going to be so hilarious. They could set up Drapions all they want, but at this point, they've lost the game because of the lock of Shadow Mist and Klefki. Hilarious for sure. Not being able to attach DTEs, that makes Arceus quite slow. They also would need, yeah, they have an energy in hand. Even the triple energies. One, two, three, triple energies. Trinity Nova, 200, not even KOing us. Um, since we do have uh, access to Palpat in the discard pile, actually in the, in the prize cards, which we hopefully will take, 50% chance. They're gonna try and set up Duraludon. Arvin here, okay. Uh, it's time for this one. I'm not gonna use Arvin. Just gonna go for Luminion. I'm gonna go for the Luminous Sign, and we could boss, but I'm gonna go for Research to try and set ourselves up here. Let's go, Research, <sighs> Energies, that's what we need. So, Underworld Door. One. Underworld Door. Yeah, we're almost uh, decked out, by the way, hilarious. Underworld door again. Okay, what do we do now? We can collapse the Pokemon away. At this point, we're slapping 280 damage. 280 damage. We could still attach as well. Look at that damage output. 310. I'll think I'll just switch. To this one, save the choice belt in the process, and Max guys, 280 damage. Let's go. So in their hand, they would need boss's orders, 
and the Derilodon VMAX. We're gonna be maybe losing three energies if they can of course boss and have... They can have Duraludon VMAX, but we have boss in hand, so that's good. The Raihan, okay, that's just a Raihan, that's fine. So, let's see here. Can we hit 250 damage? Let's see, we're losing three, so it's three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 240, 270. Yeah, we definitely get there. <laughs> they cannot even KO it, so that's hilarious. Look at that. 280 attachment on Shadow Rider. Underworld door on Shadow Rider. So even the big Dorelodon VMAX is annihilated by the 340 damage output of the Max guys. So uh, yeah, it seems like Shadow Rider is not that bad. We slapped Arceus around quite easily, I would say. Shadow Mist is so good of an attack. So good. What can they actually do when they're not able to attach DTEs? They're like way too slow. Way too slow for the game, mates. Way too slow. Okay, let's play another one. Shadow Rider is actually kind of fun. Like, definitely people don't expect it, so they're not attacking against you. What the opponent probably could have done is set up a Drapion. Use Trinity Nova, set up a Drapion, and then the Drapion could one-shot instead of setting up the Duraludon. But a Drapion is also super fragile. Tails never fails. Come on. Ah, uh, this time around we're gonna go second. Uh, if we go second, we have access to Arvin, have access to Judge, have access to our research. So that means getting the attack off Shadow Mist can be happening way easier. And we can go first. Well, okay. Let's hope we start with Klefki. They're having Giratina sleeves, so they want to be going second. So some sort of lost box deck that wants to go for Cramorant or something. Now well. Mawel in the house and judge. We can Arvin find at least something to do. Um, okay, we need Klefki. <laughs> They're very happy to be playing against us. Okay. Are they gonna be happy after they see this situation happening? Klefki turn one. Mm, I don't know if I should attach or not. We could. We don't need that many energies in this matchup. We can also like slap a little bit of damage. Let's hope they don't have escape rope. They have like, they probably have escape rope, right? They have beach guard. They have Nazball. Like the the initial problem I have is that I give away so many mulligans, but we do have judge. So if they don't have escape rope right now, that would be huge. They have a chorus. Chorus into escape rope into doing all their stuff. But now we need to get that second Klefki down ASAP. There's a cram. There's a cross switcher? What in the world? Okay, it looks like to be Turbo Lost Box or something that wants to be going second to get that huge flower selecting party off. Already three cards in the Lost Zone. They did give up on a Comfey there though. Yeah. And a Nazball as well. Let's see how this goes. They already gave up on cross switchers which are like very great cards. Like they didn't do anything, perfect. Yeah, that seems pretty slow in my opinion. Um, Arvin, I will get, I will get, let's see here. We need to find, we have attached retreat, so we can definitely just find, fuck, just Nest Ball, I suppose. And four Seal Stone. Here we go, Nest Ball. Let's get Shadow Rider thrown up in the mix. Next up, four Seal Stone. Using four seal stone to find the second Klefki. Should we use a Nazball for it? Nah. Second Klefki just randomly from the. Ah, oh, the second Klefki is priced. Wow, what do you know? And Heavy Ball is also priced. Is that for real? It is for real. <laughs> Holy moly. What are the odds? What are the odds? Like, having Heavy Ball priced as well as Klefki 
is just so bad. Dang it. You can also just trap the Comfy, I suppose. But they're gonna be playing Switch outside. Yeah, this feels bad, man. Typically, I would love Tempting Trap. They didn't use Escape Rope earlier, so maybe they don't have it right now. They use Cross Switcher, so... Palpat could get back. Arvin, ah, irrelevant. How is this possible, man? How is it possible that Heavy Ball is prized as well as the second cleft key. If that happens, this matchup becomes way more difficult. And also we started with like, Mawal. Oh, it is Tina. Tina with cross switchers, what do you know? Switch card. They're gonna just go for Lost Abyss, right? They can snap us as well. They can snap us. Yeah, they're gonna get great cards in their hand, but we can judge those away. So at least that's good. Energy Recycler, okay. Tempting Trap. Escape Rope Tempting Trap? Nah, just judge. Come on, get us off some of the great cards here. Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX, that is not bad. Fog Crystal, Energy. We're gonna have to draw really well to get ourselves into the game here. Underworld Door. Fog Crystal, let's get another Shadow Rider out. Might as well. The Pot Helmet is kind of irrelevant at this point, so I'll just use Choose. Klefki still up front. We judge them. Hopefully no rope. They play cr cr Cross Witcher, so maybe they don't have like that many escape ropes. If they have to use Abyss Seeking one more time, we're gonna be good. Five cards in the Lost Zone, hopefully no Chorus. I also don't see Radiant Greninja anywhere. We have free retreat, so we can save that energy. So are they actually attaching to the uh, Giratina on the bench? Interesting. Probably gonna be another Abyss Seeking here. I'll put the Pop Helmet on the Clef key. And then... Yeah, we could have gotten the Hatterene Slap and Run, but I'm afraid of like seeing Escape Rope. Can we actually get to 210? They're probably gonna be targeted down. Yeah, just a Shadow Rider. That's actually fine. It is actually better. <laughs> now, now they have access to Raiding Greninja. Abyss Seeking. Some cards go down the Lost Zone. My turn. Hatterene. Hatterene could be interesting. Luminion could be interesting as well, so I'll just slap it down. Hit and run does seem strong. Research. <laughs> Fan of waves. Fuck crystal. Let's just get all the energies out while we can. Underworld door. Ultra ball. Okay, we can keep drawing. That's nice. Let's get rid of this. We do have Clara. Inspect the board. Clara. No energies in there. Yeah, I'll get rid of Clara. Do we still have access to an escape rope or switch or something? Yeah, we have a rope and a switch. Cool. Shadow Rider number two. Underworld door again. Okay then. One, yeah, we have to attach to this one, which is super bad. Oh, did we attach to the wrong one? No, I don't think so. Ultra Ball again. I don't, can they get to 10? They have seven. They have seven. Attach, retreat into Klefki. Does seem strong though. Here, take a Klefki and chill. They have lost vacuum, so I'll wait with this choice belt. <clears throat> okay. Can we take care of two Tinas? We will need way more energies, right? There's an escape rope. Giving up a two prizer here seems bad. But giving up an energy will make us whiff what we need. Let's see what they do, though. 
two prizer is not bad if all of our Pokemon become three prizers, right? We also have Collapse Stadium on top of it. They could spit with the Cramorant. Okay, there's a Lost Vacuum. Probably get the 10, so Sableye is going to be very dangerous. Okay, they leave the Beach Court alone. Colrus is Experiment. Yeah, now we're actually trapped with the Hatcherine, so having double Clef Clefki would have been way better, but now they're already at 10 because of Abyss Seeking. I wonder if we attach to the wrong uh, fella over here. Maybe we could have already knocked out the Tina there. Giratina in the house. Are they gonna snap already, which is good. That means our uh, VMAXs are actually safe. That's actually very good. But it's a very, very tanky Pokemon though. Can we get all of all, all of our stuff done here? Choice belt. And the roll door. Number one. Away. Okay, we can underworld door a little bit more. Underworld door. One more here. Ultra Ball. Collapse could be very great. So I'll get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get the Shadow Rider again. How much damage are we already dealing here? Underworld door. So let's see here. Six, seven, eight. Retreat. Yeah, that's exactly 280. So that's good. I'll keep my Collapse Stadium so we can get rid of some of our Pokemon if they spread some damage around. Uh, Arvin. Can get Pal Patch and Escape Rope as well. Do we need anything else? The Pal Patch could get back some resources, like Clara, for instance, or another boss. Collapse. Do we slap down the Collapse right now? If they knock out one little Pokemon over here, it's going to be super scary. Yeah, Max Geist. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to win at this situation, but uh, at least we're knocking out Giratina V-Star instantly. What we need to do is like boss up the Tina, swing with the big V-Max. Depends on if they're playing Drapion or not, right? We're equal in price trade, but we have a lot of weak HP Pokemon on our uh, bench. So what we could do is Palpats, then Clara and Collapsed. Yeah, something we could do. The cool thing is that they already used their V-Star power, so we can knock out the Giratina again. Concealed cards. Something like Judge Path is also not too bad, I suppose. They already used Recycler as well. Three energies in their discard pal. Okay, there's Colorus' experiment coming down. This is gonna be a scary matchup, definitely because <laughs> I want to have like both Klefkis up. Not that it matters against the Tina list, but hope. Hey ho, it's all right. Two Mirage Gates going down the drain. That's great news. There's the Tina V Star. They could 90 90 with Greninja. Nope. They're gonna go for Tina. We can undo all that damage. Yeah, they can just slap for 280 and then slap with Sableye, right? Yeah, that's something they could do. Two eighty damage. Another Shadow Rider Calyrex V Max. Yeah, the collapse really is definitely gonna be necessary to discard the energies over here. And seeing as they have already utilized all their Mirage Gates, two of them here. Okay, they still have one Mirage Gate left. Okay. We're gonna boss up Sableye. 
Is it Sableye that we want, to be honest? Because we're gonna discard three energies here, right? Right. We're gonna be switching into this Shadow Rider. We're gonna be utilizing Klefki. I don't know if they have boss, they have like Sableye. Is there a Sableye over here? A lot of energies here. They probably have Clara. We are gonna go for Palpat. Gonna get Clara back, gonna get Boss back. Yeah, I wish I didn't have to slap down another weak HP Pokemon here, but it is better than to get... They definitely gonna sprinkle this one. Like that's four damage counters here. And then eight here, so we definitely need to use the Collapse Stadium strategy. I'll get rid of my big Shadow Rider. Max Geist. Okay, I don't know if this is the correct strategy. We only slap 116 right, but we have Clara. Beach Core is not gonna help too much. Like, that was my way out. Otherwise, they would just sprinkle with Sableye. And now the damage is done. Could have also hit onto the active Tina, making them trap, but they think I think they have more switch outs. They only have used one switch guard, one escape rope. Two cross switchers though. Trainers here. Yeah, two switch guards, one switch. Yeah, maybe Mawa could also be the star of the show since we do have Clara. And if he lost impacts, he needs to lose more energies here. Let's count the energies here. Four energies in the lost zone. Five energies. Okay, we got Roxanne. Oh, Roxanne, we can dag them out. <laughs> we can dag them out. They only have one card left in their deck. What are they gonna do? Yeah, Mawa is definitely scary. Um. Path. I don't know if there's anything we should do here. Maybe just Underworld Door. Onto ourselves. An attack? I'm not gonna judge, that's for sure. Yeah, you're just gonna attack here. Let's go. They only have one card left in their deck. <laughs> that's crazy. I don't know if they have another energy recycler. They could. We can just rope into Mawile. Is the pot helmet gone? I think the pot helmet is in the lost zone, right? Yeah, it's scary. But I think they don't even have energies enough to start swing with any of these. Yeah, the rock sand really killed them. I don't think they're running any judge. They could rock sand again, but it will be the same result, I suppose. Attachment on the Tina. Yeah, they could attack. Yeah, there's a the lost impact, but they lose because of deck out. And I probably would have used Mawal in this situation. But yeah, as you can see, you can use Collapse to get rid of a damaged Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX. <laughs> I probably would have not been able to KO this one at this stage in the game, but he had he's all of, out of Mirage Gate, so... <laughs> yeah, that's it. End of turn and they deck out. So that is also a win con for Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX. Wow, that was actually super entertaining. Super entertaining. Can we play one more game with the Shadow Rider? We won against literally everything so far, so super cool. Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX. Who would have thought that this deck has capabilities to win games in this current standard format? Tina is actually a little bit scary. Luckily, they did opt to use for the Star Requiem on our Hatterene V. And that uh, opened the door for two shots on Shadow Rider. And uh, with two shots comes the Collapse Stadium strategy. Let's go for heads this time around. Of course, it is a Tails. If that happens, we have access to support. So let's start with Klefki. Double Klefki, please. And they have like a lost box. Let's go. This is actually a strong hand to sit on. Not going f Yeah, like double Fog Crystal? That's crazy. Shadow Rider, Shadow Rider, Shadow Rider, Energy. That's what's gonna happen. Or double 
Klefki. Magnazone V, we're up against Maridon, ladies and gentlemen. Luckily, we start with Klefki, so no Maridon action. Even if they slap down Maridon, the bench is not gonna get filled up. The bench is not gonna... <laughs> Only Magnazone attach pass. That's like the dream for us. Oh, we get a research? Of course we get a research. Let's go for this. Let's slap down this one. Fog Crystal. Uh, do we go double? Nah, we don't go for double here. Three of these. Let's go. Double boss and access to... Yeah. How many energies do we have, to be honest? Ten energies. That's def definitely decent. Fog Crystal. Definitely decent odds to draw into these. Let's go. We need to go aggro Shadow Rider. Where are the energies? <laughs> we had 10 in the deck. What's going on? Um, yes. Well, next turn we have three Shadow Rider Calyrex V Maxes and a research, so it should be alright. I'm gonna be able to accelerate four energies that turn. Not gonna be enough to KO this Magna Zone. Or are they gonna judge us? They're gonna judge us. Luckily, uh, they can drag Pokemon up, right? Dragging them up, slapping 40 damage. What a hilarious twist of events. It's just a Magnazone attach pass. That's kind of horrifying. Yeah, our hand looks good, but uh, it's probably gonna get judged. Arvin, no judge. What are you gonna go for? Escape rope? Escape rope. And for a seal stone. Show them to me. That's what I would pick. Escape rope and choice belt? What? Can they knock something out with the choice belt? I don't believe it. Oh, they have Ultra Ball. They're gonna go for full bench Maride on the Raikou electric generator? Something like it? And then KO something from the bench? That would be huge. Please don't slap Maridon down first. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, you can activate it whenever you want. Roping time. What now? Is this actually an attack that you go for 90 damage, 32 opponents bench Pokemon? Raikou Maridon. No, it's just another Maridon. Maridon, Raikou, a Regilecki. Okay, the Raikou is here. They have the Choice Belt as well. Maybe for Seal Stone is prized. Yeah, that, that's what it was. Okay, Beach Court. Going into the Raikou to draw a measly one card. <laughs> that's exactly what they're doing. Fleet Footed. We can actually shut down Regilecki VMAX to become tanky with the path. Seeing as we have access to more uh, stadiums in our deck. If we rope, we cannot get a KO. With four energies in play and a choice belt. We can technically have Clara, and then we have like an additional energy of the turn. Choice belt on the Raikou. Nasty. I'll just rope into Klefki to be honest. Sounds like a plan. Shadow Rider. Shadow Rider. Ultra Ball, let's get rid of this, let's get rid of this. Shadow Rider again. What are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? They're gonna attack with this Raikou, right? I don't want this Shadow Rider getting knocked out, so I'll just rope. They also won't be able to draw cards because of Clef Key. <laughs> and they're gonna be in top deck position. They could still slap 90 to two targets, I suppose. And research! Let's go! Choice belts and draw power. Might as well use Heavy Ball for our Hatterene hit and run uh, like 3 energy surprise. So sad. We can still retreat and hit and run. But Hatterene is actually very viable. Nah, it doesn't matter. Just gonna set up big Shadow Riders again. One of these. Underworld door. 
one of these. Underworld door. One of these. Attach of the turn. They have one card in hand. What could it be? Four energies in play, meaning we're slapping 130. With choice belt, not even enough. Pot helmet could protect Klefki for random stuff, I suppose. Hit and run with the Regilecki V, I guess. We have Pal Patch. We have Boss in hand, so this is great. This is actually super great. We have the Clara as well. We can even summon another Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX to get to ridiculous numbers. And then only three prize Pokemon remain in play. And we will be... Okay, another judge. Probably should have equipped that choice belt. But we have Arvin. It's fine. Ready like a VMAX. Number two. Yeah, we have a sacrificial Klefki here. That's cool. This is actually scary because we had Clara in hand. Not anymore. 130 damage output. Alright. More energies. That's perfect. Underworld door. Drawing more. Collapse Stadium is actually a super nasty card. We could utilize that to undo damage at one point. Putting down one prizers. This one. Underworld door keeps on going. Nesball. Arvin. Klefki, Mawal. Mawal is also like a crazy win condition, but I'm not. I'm not gonna do that quite yet. Two twenty. It's all we need to do, right? Arvin, Fog Crystal, Choice Belt, Fog Crystal, more energies, I only have two left. We do have a Choice Belt here though. I don't think they'll judge again. 250, bam! So uh, yeah, it's gonna have to be 222 again, enough Maridons on the field. We, if we draw into Clara, we can evolve into <laughs> so many energies. Energies any, everywhere. And that's how this deck is just unstoppable. We didn't showcase the strategy of Shadow Mist against uh, Mew, but we did showcase it against Arceus. So that's at least cool. <laughs> We're gonna draw one card. They could, the choice belt's already gone, so yeah, we got judged again. So that choice belt shh, doesn't matter. Pad. Do they even have energies? Where's electric? <laughs> yeah, that's where you see it. The the writings on the wall. So hopefully, guys, enjoyed this video of Shadow Rider Calyrex V Max. If you did, be sure to let me know by rocking the hell out like button. Helps out in many ways. Subscribe for more daily Pokemon TCG content and check out the sponsors. PokeTownStore.com, the best place for TCG live code cards. You can use the coupon code ZabluesTCG for a whopping five percent off your codes. Definitely do so. They have a lot of promo codes in stock as well. Go check out CardMarket.com, a European platform where you're able to buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. There's also Dragon Shield for your sleeves, binders, and deck boxes. Links down below for people from Europe and US. And last but not least, people worldwide can create your own custom playmat on europlaymat.com. Click in the link down below, gets you 10% off right now to create your own custom playmat. Upload their favorite wallpaper or unique logo, and they turn it into a beautiful, beautiful playmat. Have yourself a fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you guys tomorrow for more Pokemon TCG epicness. Peace.